All right, greetings, YouTube. I've been asked some questions about some of my custom fixture projects, and I'm still working on them, although due to money problems at the moment, I've had to put on hold every single project that requires me to order parts, which has left me to focus on projects that I can complete using parts that I already have. And the first of those has just been completed today, and that is this. Another mini T5 strip, which I built. I sacrificed one of my own one lamp strip fixtures to make this. And it's got the toggle switch on the end, but the tubes are F7 T5s. Andrew, who's ordered projects for me before, um, had put in a best offer at a seller selling a lot of F7 T5 lamps for insanely cheap and the seller accepted so he needed me to build a fixture he sent me a couple of the lamps and I got to work on it and I'm actually not calling him by his YouTube handle in this video because I don't because these tubes are no longer made and they were used for uh, vending machines and soda coolers and this was in an attempt to uh, pr protect him from a potential barrage of hate mail from pissed off soda cooler and vending machine owners that can no longer lamp relamp their machines. Although I seriously doubt people will be that upset. You could modify one of those to take an, either an F6T5 or an F8T5 and that's also what these uh, little holes are for. Because the lamps are no longer made, that was a safeguard so that after he ran out of F7T5s he could uh, move the lamp holders down and use F6 T5s in this fixture. And I got a couple of spare hold lamp holders. I'm not using the ones that are in the fixture because I'll have to screw up the wiring for that. And firstly unplug it for safety reasons. <coughs> I was sick a week or two ago. And so I'm getting over that. Anyways, take that off, and I'll show you how that works. The way we do this is we get the wires nice and straight, and thread them through the hole. This is how to attach the lamp holders here. And then once we get them here, push the wires up against the bracket and put the bracket at a right angle, thread that in there through the big hole and then line up the smaller hole with the uh, screw hole in the lamp holder bracket. Which is off camera, but I'm doing that. And voila, here's an F6T5, and it fits. The procedure's the same for the other hole, and I suppose I can do this just to prove that they both will fit an F6T5. So, thread it through, put it at a right angle, Twist it around, line up the smaller hole with the screw hole, like so. And that side will also fit an F6 T5. And that's how, can continue, how he will continue to use this fixture after his F7 T5 supplies run out. I'll obviously take these lamp holders out for shipping so that he can get his F7s in there first. They would block it otherwise. <laughs> <coughs>
getting them out is a little easier than getting them in. So after that's done, just put it at a right angle. And once you get that, just thread the wires through the hole. And it's out. Basically, it's sort of like a reverse of the previous process. And here's the inside. The ballasts are diagonal to add a little extra room. And it's still sometimes the wires are sort of jam packed in there, so it, it's a little tough to get it closed all the way, but it can be done. Be sure that none of the wires are being pinched against the sides because you don't want a wire to ground to the case. And then just line up the uh, two screw pegs. This was a snap-on fixture, but there was only a snap-on part on one side once I cut it up, so I crushed that flat with, some, with a couple of steel blocks and a hammer and then just decided to use uh, long screws and wing nuts to hold it together instead although it still has that ridge to, to show you that it was once part of a snap-on fixture. This fixture originally held a... Uh, actually, it was not a single lamp fixture. It was just the width of a single lamp fixture. It actually had two uh, F20 T12s, one on each side. There is a knockout for a convenience outlet, too, although you probably have to do some insane wire bunching to get that to work. Now plug it back in relamp it and one more startup for the road We can do one more startup. All right. Enjoy.